In this video, we're going to take a look at several equations that can be used to represent different types of variation relationships. Variation relationships are derived from either multiplying or dividing our variables to equal a constant number that doesn't change regardless of the givens of the equation. Another important quality of variation is that if one value is 0, the other value is also 0. When we're looking at variation equations, we're looking for key words to tell us what to do with the variables. One common type of variation is varies directly. This is the relationship of if one gets larger, the other one gets larger as well. For example, the area of a circle varies directly with the diameter. As the diameter gets bigger, the area also gets bigger. Actually, a better example would probably be to say the circumference of a circle varies directly with the diameter. But same idea, as the diameter gets bigger, the circumference gets bigger, because we have a bigger circle. One way to represent this equation is when we see varies directly, we will divide the variables. m varies directly, we will divide as n. Meaning, if we divide the variables m by n, it will always equal a constant that will not change. In the example of the circle, with its circumference and diameter, the constant turns out to be pi, or 3.14, regardless of the circle. Another type of variation is inversely proportional, or indirect variation, it is also called. This is an example of where if one variable increases, the other variable decreases. An example of indirect or inversely proportional might be the force required to break a board compared to the length of the board. A longer board would be easy to break, while a shorter board would take much more force. That is inversely proportional. When we see inversely proportional, we want to multiply our variables, y times z, to always equal a constant. A third type of variation is varies jointly. This is where one variable is affected by two other variables. If one of the other variables gets larger, the first variable also gets larger and follows the same pattern. An example of this would be the area of a triangle compared to its height and length. If the height gets bigger, the area gets bigger. Similarly, if the length gets bigger, the area gets bigger. Turns out the constant on this triangle equation is 1 half, or 0.5. The way we do joint variation equations is we take the first variable that varies jointly with the other two, and divide by the product of the other two to equal our constant. By catching the key phrases in the problem that describe the relationship of the variable, we can quickly make an equation to model the situation. If we see varies directly, we divide the variables. Inversely, we multiply. And jointly, we divide by the product of the other two.